My beloved friends, how are you all? As you see here, it's night. But I wanted to do this video. Last time when I tried to post something from season 4, it was a short sequence. Well, uh, YouTube was not very happy about it. It seems now that um, protection against uh, us using content, us the YouTube creators, using short segments from the chosen is a bit more powerful. Let's see what's gonna happen this time because I really want to post from season four episode two this short sequence that everybody that loves the chosen saw it I know that speaks about true forgiveness friends. True forgiveness is something that I need in my life. I struggle with this as well, especially I'll admit it today. Mm -hmm. It's hard when you experience actual work, for example, as all of us will work, situations uh, that uh, shows you how weak you are when it's about forgiveness, when someone tries to damage you, to hurt you, either you are at your work, either you are at your school, or I don't know, in any other place whatsoever. And uh, the first impulse is obviously to uh, not to be a uh, an innocent uh, victim but to fight back uh, and to be as vicious as possible because after all uh, you are defending yourself isn't it and so you you hate that the person that uh, hates you and wants to hurt you well, but then uh, the Holy Spirit comes and whispers to you that uh, hold on you know who you are you are a Christian you are a Christian and you are called to forgive and not to answer evil or with evil but on the contrary to answer evil with good and that's not easy isn't it haven't you been there before as well how many times I'm sure you had your moments in which you face this dilemma when uh, someone is hurting you deeply and someone wants to damage you in any way possible, either at your work, either wherever you are, you will say, no, I'm not gonna allow this and I'm gonna hurt this person as much as he or she hurt me. After all, this is uh, the natural response and no one will blame you if you hurt someone that hurts you. Obviously, if we hurt someone that uh, done good to us this is evil totally 100% evil if we love someone that loves us this is humane 100% humane but then if we answer with good to someone that hates us this is 100% godly if we forgive this is godly 100% just like God forgive us we forgive as well and that's why I want to post this segment from the chosen season 4 episode 2 Peter now Peter because in the season 4 episode 2 Jesus is proclaiming that Simon is not Simon anymore no it's Peter so Peter Peter and his beef against Matthew, friends. His beef against Matthew. And uh, then Peter forgiving. Because he realizes that his, he has been forgiven much as well. So why not to forgive? Let's take a look, shall we? Three, two, one, go.
I forgive you. It's all forgotten. of the earth, right? Hmm? It's over. How beautiful, how beautiful and touching, and uh, Paras Patel and uh, Shahar Isak, they're doing a great job portraying those um, emotions, emotions that they feel as Peter and Matthew, Matthew on the spectrum. And I want to say this once again, how grateful so many are, including myself. To Dallas Jenkins and uh, Matthew Eske brings to life in such a beautiful way this Matthew. <sighs> I guess the naysayers, those that were saying that, oh, how do you know that Matthew was on the spectrum? Uh, why not? In the why not uh, portraying Matthew this way? Why not? <laughs> it hurts no one on the contrary gives a voice a representation to those on the spectrum outreach is to them and we are called to outreach we are called to present the gospel to every single soul and people on the spectrum autistic people they are as well people that deserve to hear the gospel and accept Christ as their Lord their Savior I just love this this passion <laughs> quote unquote passion is in the love pure brotherly love between Peter and eventually Matthew 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 that uh, he discovers his emotion the, his emotions are unfolding in a different way don't forget someone on the spectrum has their brain wired in a different way and the passion, love, brotherly love that that is shown there in full display is beautiful to watch. Beautiful to watch indeed. That's it. <laughs> for now, just for now. It's nearly 11 p.m. here in United Kingdom, London. And from my office, <laughs> from uh, this living room, God bless you all. And, uh, I truly love you guys. Thank you for watching. See you soon.